Hey there, I'm Bruce Ulrich. I just wanted to put together a quick video talking about my previous video and project, which was making a bent laminated uh, banana hook. And this is not a project video, so if that's what you're looking for, like a how-to, just skip this one. I just wanted to go through a few of the mistakes that I feel like I made in the bent lamination process and things I think I could have done better to just improve it overall. So stick around. I would love it if you would leave a comment, if you end up learning something, or if you have any other information that you want to share based on what I'm sharing, um, I'm always up to learning as well. So let me go through these. First of all, when I was building my forms, I tried to get by with only two thicknesses of MDF for the forms, and I think my forms should have been a little taller. My material was wider than my forms were tall, and that presented some problems. So I think next time I'll make sure that I have enough form material to fully cover. Um, it ended up kind of making everything not quite square because when I was clamping it to it, some of it was a little bit off. Um, I was able to overcome it, but I think I would do that differently in the future. Also, I didn't have the form sitting on like a bottom substrate and for this particular thing with a bunch of different strips, I should have because I had five different strips in each of the glue ups and it was hard to keep them aligned because I didn't have a reference point. So if I would have had a bottom on the form, I would have been able to reference everything against that bottom and I think it would have gone better. Possibly a larger mold would have done better for both of mine and would have allowed me to put more holes in it so I had different clamping angles and, and just more ability to clamp. I think that was a shortcoming. I had a lot of holes but I think maybe a larger form would have been a little more accommodating. I'm not sure. Um, these were some really extreme curves. One of them was a 180 degree bend, um, the base of the banana hook. If I was doing another project that didn't require such extreme curves, I probably would have tried it without wetting the wood. That ended up being a big mess and took a while to do. You know, if it was just more of a gentle sloping curve, I probably would have just tried to make two forms that are like a positive and a negative and sandwich them together creating the curve that I've seen some other people do. But my way still worked out good. Um, not too many complaints there. Uh, one side note, I bought way too many bananas. I bought so many bananas because in the last week of me working on this project, the, the bananas, actually it was probably more like a week and a half, the bananas ended up, you know, they go ripe really quickly and then I had like two or three bunches of bananas that would go ripe and just go bad. I would, I would try to be using them to, to mock up hanging on the hook or whatever, and they would just fall, up, fall off. Um, but my family loves bananas, so they've been having their fill of them. One thing to note when you take your boards and first start getting the glue off of them or whatever, be real careful, especially if you have pieces as thin as I did. My pieces were like 3 16 thick and... I was using 80 grit sandpaper to get the glue off. So I noticed in one spot, I almost went totally through that outside veneer. So you just have to be real careful, even though it's solid wood, it's not very thick and you gotta really keep that, that sander moving or maybe even do it by hand or using files. That might be a better way to do it. I probably should have done more of the shaping on the walnut hook before I actually cut it off of the larger piece of walnut and it just would have allowed me to put it in my, my vise that you see back there um, to do the shaping and really hold it better. I went ahead and cut it off and already had like a real organic hook shape. Then I had a hard time even holding on to it while I was trying to do all of the filing and everything. I just had to kind of grip it and uh, hope for the best. So in hindsight, I think that's something I would do differently. But anyway, hope, hope these tips are something that help you. If you haven't already checked that video, I will link it right here. Go give it a watch and let me know what you think. Um, I made a, a bent lamination banana hook and it turned out really great, better than I expected actually, because I didn't have any plans or anything for this. So I was just kind of winging it as I went. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.